You're listening to 1160 AM KVCE. The information provided during this broadcast belongs to the show host and is for general informational purposes only. Nothing that is discussed or taken as legal advice for any individual case or situation. This information does not and is not intended to create an attorney-client relationship, nor does receipt of or listening to the information provided constitute an attorney-client relationship. Welcome to the Believers in Business Hour on KVCE AM 1160. It's time for Bar Talk with local trial lawyer Brad Parker, the attorney you want but hope you never need. Stay tuned, get informed, and get educated about your legal rights when you or a loved one have been seriously injured or harmed by the conduct of someone else or at the hands of an insurance company. Brad Parker has focused his law practice exclusively on trial work since becoming licensed in 1985 and is board certified in personal injury trial law by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. And now, here's Bar Talk with Brad Parker, the attorney you want but hope you never need. Thank you. Uh, glad you're tuning in today. You've got a great show coming up. I uh, I played a little golf yesterday. We've been having some wonderful weather. Boy, today is even a better day than yesterday. The wind was a little blow, uh, blowing a little bit, but uh, went to the uh, Nancy Lieberman Golf Tournament out at uh, Golly the Hills of Prestonwood. I believe was the name of the golf course. Uh, just a beautiful course. Beautiful day. Nancy Lieberman has a great foundation that she's doing, uh, helping children uh, with various activities, uh, underprivileged children. Annika Sornstrom was there. Uh, it was great uh, to, to meet her. You know, I had forgotten uh, until started being inter- until she started getting interviewed uh, that Annika was the woman player who played at the Colonial uh, all those years ago. I, I can't even remember when that was. I, I remember being out there. Uh, but uh, I had forgotten totally that, that she she was the one that had done that. I can remember all those old geezers over there at the Colonial uh, <laughs> being outraged that they were going to allow a woman play in the PGA uh, tournament. It was great to see her. Tony Dorsett was out there. It was great to meet Tony Dorsett. Uh, you know, uh, Derek Holland was out there. Got to meet Derek Holland. It was uh, all in all just a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, good opportunity to meet some new people and uh, uh, play a little golf um, although my golf game suffered in the uh, the last few holes it was just getting uh, windy the couldn't couldn't keep the ball straight for some reason maybe it's called uh, lack of talent I don't know any event it was a great great time KBCE sponsored me uh, allowed me to be on their team uh, had had a wonderful opportunity to meet some new people and uh, just had a really great, great time. Thank you, KVCE, and, and thank you, uh, Nancy Lieberman, for, for the, the things that you do and the found, things your foundation does. I hope you were able to raise a lot of money. I'm, I'm, I know you took some of mine. Anyway, that's wonderful. Well, a lot's been happening over the last week. Um, you know, uh, Rick Perry, just uh, the, the – and, and I, I guess I'm just a legal nerd. Obviously, I am. I, uh, I practice law. People, a lot of people say I'm just a nerd no matter what. But the bottom line is I love watching this Rick Perry uh, maneuvers. Uh, it's, it's a very interesting procedural uh, game going on right now uh, between his army of lawyers. Uh, gosh, only knows how many he must have now. I think there are a total of six. And what's most interesting and curious about that is that only one of them, if I'm not mistaken, is a criminal lawyer. The rest of them are all civil lawyers. Uh, they don't do criminal work. Yet uh, he has hired them. He's hired everything from a former Supreme Court justice uh, to, to that being Tom Phillips to uh, a very prominent trial attorney, Tony Busby, uh, who is a fabulous trial attorney, uh, very capable, very successful uh, to represent him, uh, which is just rather ironic as I've talked about in the past that Rick Perry would hire a trial attorney uh, to represent him in his most dire time of need. Uh, And uh, that just goes to show how important trial attorneys are, in my estimation. Even the governor of the good state of Texas in his most dire time of uh, need has chosen a trial attorney to be his lead trial attorney on his trial team of six attorneys. And he's not even a criminal lawyer. So uh, what's that tell you? What's that tell you? When you're in trouble, when you really need somebody, uh, maybe a trial attorney would be the first best way to turn. 
And uh, so keep that in mind, folks. But uh, last Monday was a hearing. You, if you recall, Perry got permission not to attend the hearing that was scheduled for yes, uh, two days ago. And the reason was is that he had to have uh, he had to be away because he was going to be in Europe on uh, promoting some business for the state of Texas. And so he got special permission. That's very unusual uh, from my criminal buddies. They all tell me that uh, any time you have a hearing, no matter what the hearing is, uh, the defendant must be there and the prosecutor must lay eyes on him. It's kind of a way to be sure they hadn't left the state, I guess, uh, or they're skipping bail. But uh, nonetheless, Perry uh, got permission uh, on this particular occasion not to be present. And the judge, Judge Richardson, Burt Richardson, said, uh, if I recall correctly, that this would be done on a case-by-case basis, but under no circumstances would Rick Perry be allowed to be absent from a hearing if substantive issues were going to be discussed uh, or rulings were going to be made. He absolutely has to be there. And so uh, he got permission for the first one. And it, it's it's really striking to me, I've made this comment before, how Jerry Jones and Rick Perry get caught up in the legal system and they're already asking for special favors. They already want to go, you know, if this happened to you or to me, uh, you wouldn't get these special favors. You wouldn't even think to ask for them. Yet because they're a governor, because they own the Cowboys, they think they get these special kind of treatment or favors. And uh, hats off to the judge, both in the Jerry Jones case and Judge Burt Richardson in the Rick Perry case, for for not allowing that to happen. Uh, You know, both of those judges have made comments that, no, the the system is the system, and you will abide by the system and its rules. And, of course, an exception was made for the governor since he already had a a uh, long-standing commitment to go to Europe. But the next hearing that's coming up is on, uh, ironically, May maybe more appropriately, Halloween. And uh, there's going to be a hearing at that point in time that from what I understand from the testimony or from the hearing itself, there's going to be two issues taken up on October 31st in the here, uh, the Perry matter. And one of them is going to be whether or not Michael McCrum, the prosecutor who uh, got the indictments, because the if you recall, Perry's now been indicted on on two counts in essence of uh, improperly executing coercion in other words uh, executing uh, his power to veto it's not the fact that he vetoed it's the fact that he was trying to blackmail uh, the DA into resigning uh, if if uh, he was going to veto her budget for the uh, public integrity unit or public ethics uh, unit uh, if she did not and so after she refused to resign, uh, he went ahead and vetoed it. But it's what he did afterwards. But be that as it may, the hearing coming up on Friday, they're trying to say that Michael McCrum, that prosecutor that got the indictments against Perry, was never properly sworn in. So they are pulling out all the stops. They're trying to beat this on a, on a hyper-technical issue, which they're certainly entitled to do. Uh, many things in the law are hyper technical and and you can win on a technicality but they are trying to say that uh, both two things that the rosemary lindbergh's office the da for travis county did not properly recuse themselves from the perry matter and that michael mccrum never formally took the oath of office and filed their direct or correct papers Uh, they had a little bit of discussion about that at the hearing on Monday, and Judge Richardson uh, felt very confident that the, the filings had been made, but he was going to rule on this and hear more evidence on the 31st. The second thing that he's going to be ruling on, or at least hear evidence about, is that the defendants, Rick Perry, wants his lawyers want copies of the grand jury testimony. And that's very, very unusual. Uh, my criminal friends, criminal, <laughs> criminal friends and criminal attorney friends, tell me that that is very, very rare that that ever happens. Uh, Only if that witness is going to come back and testify at trial do they get a copy of the transcript of what they said in the grand jury proceedings because those are very secretive. 
I suspect there's another reason they want this. Uh, earlier, early reports and the rumor on the street in Austin is is that two very high-ranking staffers were in, uh, used by Perry to approach Lindbergh after he vetoed the budget to try to cut a deal with her, in essence, blackmail her on the eve of, of uh, vetoing that budget and shortly thereafter. And in fact, there's a, a story out that he actually offered her a different job at a higher paying rate if she would just resign. And from what I understand, and the, the uh, word on the street is that these staffers testified 100% truthfully, and it's not very pretty for Rick Perry. And that's probably more the reason why they want to to get to this than, than anything else. So, uh, you know, Halloween will be a kind of an interesting time to see uh, how that's ruled. But the thing is, is that Rick Perry's got to be there. Uh, he'll be dressed as a defendant, I guess, on Halloween, and uh, he will have to show up and, and be present. Stick around. We'll be right back. I'm going to catch you up on a couple other things. You've been listening to Bar Talk. I'm Brad Parker. This is AM 1160 KBCE. Business Authority, 1160 AM, KVCE. Tune in Thursday evenings 5 to 6 as KVCE's Believers in Business presents the Family Law Hour with attorneys Frank Skipper and Donna Smith discussing divorce, child support, custody, mediation, adoption, and all other areas of family law. Both Frank and Donna focus their practices exclusively on family law. That's the Family Law Hour, tomorrow at 5, right here on AM 1160 KVCE and online at kvceradio.com. Brought to you by the David Wynn Law Firm and the law offices of Donna J. Smith. It's very different since Geico started saving people money over 75 years ago. This interweb thing? Not around. You wanted to know the answer to something? You just asked old man Russell. And if he didn't know, he made it up. That's why everyone in my town thought lightning bugs were filled with real lightning. Hey, we weren't always the sharpest tools in the shed, but we knew Geico was a smart deal. Geico, saving people money on car insurance for over 75 years. If you've had minor aches and pains in your muscles and joints and you're wondering what you can do for temporary relief, try Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. Find out why so many consumers are using this powerful topical formula. It works. It doesn't burn. It's odor-free and it's not greasy. And it's backed by their empty jar guarantee. Not satisfied? You can send back the empty jar for a full refund. If you've got minor arthritis aches and pains, try Australian Dream. Find it at Walmart. For a lawn worthy of the spotlight, you need a mower worthy of the same. Try Kubota's Commander Z100 Series Zero-Turn Mowers. These high-output, gas-powered machines are cutting-edge and commercial-grade. Demanding attention with brilliant LED headlights, 5-inch deep mower decks, and commercial hydro gear transmissions, Kubota puts professional results at your fingertips. Get exceptional savings on all Kubota Commanders during the Gear Up and Go sales event with zero down and 0% APR financing for up to 48 months. Command the spotlight during the Gear Up and Go sales event right now at your local TexasKubotaDealers.com. Visit TexasKubotaDealers.com to find your local Kubota dealer. Zero down, 0% APR financing for terms up to 48 months on Z100 Commander models now through 1231.14. Financing is available through Kubota Credit Corporation USA, subject to credit approval. Other conditions may apply. Offer expires 1231.14. For more information, call toll-free 1-888-465-8268. At Parker Law Firm, people matter. We have an unwavering commitment to people who have been seriously harmed by the negligence or wrongdoing of others. Our practice focuses on those who have been killed or seriously injured in major trucking or car accidents or whose lives have been seriously disrupted by the bad faith conduct of an insurance company. Hi, I'm Brad Parker, principal partner at Parker Law Firm. I'm board certified in personal injury trial law by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. I'm also the immediate past president of the Texas Trial Lawyers Association. When you or a loved one has been seriously injured in an accident caused by another person's negligence, you may not know where to go or who to trust. Our firm is built on years of trial experience, a tradition of personal service, and a reputation for zealous representation of our clients. We're dedicated to providing experienced and comprehensive legal assistance to individuals and their families during their times of need. Let the attorneys from Parker Law Firm help you. Get a free consultation. Call 817-503-9200. ParkerLawFirm.com. 
principal office, Bedford, Texas. Real estate accounts for more millionaires than any other investment vehicle. Lifestyles Unlimited is an education and mentor group that for over 23 years has taken people by the hand and taught them how to build wealth and passive income streams. Our students have won Investor of the Year awards eight of the last eight years. We offer a free workshop for anyone considering investing in real estate. 866-945-6565. That's 866-945-6565. Or visit lifestylesunlimited.com. That's lifestylesunlimited.com. From Wall Street to the Metroplex. This is 1160 AM. KVCE. Welcome back to Believers in Business Bar Talk with Texas Board Certified Personal Injury Trial Lawyer, Brad Parker, right here on M 1160 KVCE. Have questions? Get answers. Call in at 214-787-1160. That's 214-787-1160. You can check it out online at kvceradio.com. Brought to you by the Parker Law Firm. Welcome back. I'm Brad Parker, and you're listening to Bar Talk. As you said, if you got uh, any kind of questions, legal issues that you've got pending, uh, want a quick uh, drive-by uh, opinion about what's going on, holler at me. 214-787-1160. Or you can always catch me at my office. Uh, you Call me at uh, 817-503-9200 or email me uh, at brad at parkerlawfirm.com. That's brad at parkerlawfirm.com. I'll be happy to, to answer your question, uh, get you in if necessary, and sit down and visit with you. The uh, always uh, initial consultations always free. If I can't help you, I will certainly get you to a lawyer that can, or at least I'll try my very, very best to do so. A lot of times, people just don't need a lawyer. They just need a little legal advice. And uh, I help people all the time with just a simple phone call, and uh, they're good to go after that. So if you if you do have an issue, I, I hope you give me an opportunity to help you with it. Uh, just give give a call to my office. Again, that number is 817-503-9200 or look me up on the website, parkerlawfirm.com. Well, other than golf, as I mentioned a little bit ago, uh, hockey season started. And uh, if you know me, you know I'm a hockey fan. I've been a season uh, ticket holder for the Dallas Stars for I think this is my 15th year. I uh, just can't get enough of it. It's a wonderful, wonderful time. Got some great seats. And uh, here, here's what I want to do. I want somebody out there to go to a hockey game on me, on my firm. Uh, we, As I mentioned, we have season tickets. And if you've not been to a hockey game, uh, I want you to try it. And if you have been to a hockey game, I want you to, get to go go again. And uh, so I'm going to have a little drawing on my, on my website, parkerlawfirm.com. Go on the website, type in, you'll see a little form there right at the first page, the home page of my website, and it says contact us, and it asks for your name, your telephone number, and your email address, and uh, then just type in under the, the matter part, just type in tickets, and on Friday, I will take everyone who has sent us an email, I will draw blindly, randomly from everybody who, who sent us an email, and uh, give them tickets to the Stars game next Tuesday night. That's October 21st. I've got two tickets down in the bowl right behind, or not right behind, kind of on the corner edge of the uh, Stars where they try to score. And so you'll get to see two periods on the offensive end of the Stars. And I've got a free parking pass as well. So you'll have two tickets down in the bowl as well as a parking pass. And all you got to do is go on my website and uh, – so leave your email address and your phone, uh, phone number, name, and that you want tickets to the Stars game. And I'll have that drawing. That's parkerlawfirm.com. Go on there and do that. If you haven't been to a Stars game, well, you need to go. Uh, it's kind of like that old Wolf Brand Chili. Neighbor, how long has it been since you had a hot steaming bowl of Wolf Brand Chili? Well, that's too long. How long has it been since you went to a freezing cold game of hockey in Dallas? Well, neighbor, that's too long. Come on out and uh, drop drop me a, uh, an email. Uh, get on the website, parkerlawfirm.com. Leave your name and your email address and go to the hockey game on Parker Law Firm. 
I will contact you on Friday. I can email those tickets to you so you don't even have to come by my law office. I can just email them to you, and you can go on out to the hockey game on, on Tuesday night. So uh, do that, parkerlawfirm.com. Well, uh, Brick Perry's not the only one that's uh, in legal trouble. As you know, Jerry Jones is too. <laughs> How about them Cowboys, by the way? But uh, Jerry's got some other things on his mind, or at least he's going to tomorrow. I wish uh, the hearing was today so I could report on it. But tomorrow, uh, Jerry Jones is having a real big hearing on his case. Uh, unlike criminal court, I don't think Jerry has to, he He probably won't be at that hearing. He doesn't have to show up. But the, uh, the, his legal team is filing a motion to dismiss, has filed. And from what I understand, I didn't get a chance to double-check the docket sheet today before I left the office, but... Uh, it was set, and I assume it still is set for hearing tomorrow. And the primary issue in this is that the defendants are asking that the case against Jerry Jones be completely dismissed, that it be thrown out of court. And they are claiming that there is no basis in law or in fact uh, that would support this cause of action. And they they make that assertion or that allegation primarily because they claim that the statute of limitations has run. And if you listen to, to my ramblings at all, you know that that is the big issue in this case. Uh, under Texas law, the young woman, uh, Ms. Weckerly, had five years from the date of the alleged uh, sexual uh, assault to bring a cause of action. And she claims that assault happened in June or July, I believe, maybe May or June of 2009. And she did not file suit until about five years and 121 days after the alleged assault. And so the plaintiffs, Ms. Weckerly, is claiming that she doesn't have to follow the statute of limitations because there's also a provision under Texas law that says if you're suing an individual and that individual is absent from the state, the statute of limitation is extended by each day they're away from the the state. So if they can demonstrate that Jerry Jones was gone from the state for more than 121 days over a five-day, five-year period, then they're excused and they, they actually can file that lawsuit later. And so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens on that issue and how the judge rules on that ultimately. Uh, you know, there's no question in my mind that Jerry Jones has been absent from this state for more than 121 or something days over the last five years. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I would think that uh, between all of his Super Bowl and football and NFL, besides all the other businesses he has going on, he's clearly been out of the state for that period of time. So uh, that's that's going to be a, a very interesting to see how it, it all shakes out. It's also going to be interesting from a pure legal standpoint to see this motion to dismiss be ruled on because that is a brand new creature under Texas law. Uh, it was established in the 2011 legislature. And uh, until that point in time, Texas had never had a straight motion to dismiss uh, type uh, pleading. And uh, it has been very, very rarely used because it is mandatory attorney's fees for the loser. And most parties don't want to get in into that. And so you don't see it being used very often. And just as a hockey, or I mean, it's a hockey, as a legal uh, junkie, uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how the judge rules, both on the legal issues and on the motion and on the award of the attorney's fees. Well, what else has been going on in Dallas? Uh, can anybody think of anything besides the Cowboys hockey and uh, Jerry Jones and Rick Perry? Well, uh, I guess we've had a little Ebola problems going on. And uh, as I spoke to you last week, there's a lot of legal ramifications to this, not to mention, obviously, the public health issues that are permeating and everybody's talking about it, the buzz about that. But there's a lot of, lot of civil legal issues that, that come out of this, you know. Uh, just to kind of bring you back up to date, I'm, I know everybody knows this, you know, Thomas Duncan, uh, regrettably or unfortunately, passed away. Last Wednesday, uh, he is the only Ebola victim who or, or person who has been treated for Ebola 
who has not survived in the United States. If they've been treated in the United States, they have survived. He's the only one that hasn't. Uh, you know, he came to this country from Liberia. He presented at the hospital. They turned him away, uh, notwithstanding the fact that he exhibited uh, many of the symptoms of Ebola and the fact that he had just re- got transferred over here from or had arrived from Liberia. Uh, the Presbyterian Hospital turned him away. And there's a lot of questions as to whether or not the fact he didn't have health insurance uh, played a part or a role in their decision-making process. Uh, he comes back uh, two days later, and he is in terrible shape, apparently. And uh, the questions are really going to be, could he have survived uh, had they initially taken him in? Uh, we are now learning that they waited at six days, six days, even when he became admitted to use experimental treatment. And we're finding out a whole bunch of other things about that and the fact that two other nurses have now come down with it. Stick around. I want to talk about who's responsible from a civil liability standpoint. A lot of interesting issues here. I'm Brad Parker. You're listening to Bar Talk on AM 1160 KBCE. KZCE, Dallas Fort Worth's Business Authority. Hello, everybody. From Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. It's Notre Dame football. Hey, the number one game in the nation. Notre Dame football is back. Sacked by a great Notre Dame defense. Intercepted again. Finding a way. Breaks into open field. 35 to 30. Inside the 10. He's heading to the goal line. 4 8. Touchdown, Notre Dame. The Irish return to reclaim college football's crown. <laughs> Listen all season long on your home for Notre Dame football. Right here on AM 1160. See a full season schedule at kbceradio.com slash sports. Hey, KBCE listeners, mark your calendars for an evening with Ted Cruz and Sean Hannity. Saturday, October 18th at the Eisman Center in Richardson. Featuring talk show hosts Mark Davis and John David Wells. The tickets for this event start at just $20, but they are going much, much faster than anticipated. So to get your hands on your tickets, go to kbceradio.com. Presented by Jeff Bolton. Vice President of Cascade Financial Management Incorporated, Adair's Fine Floors, etc., Tier 1 Gun Shows, and Salem Communications. How is your retirement account looking? Or how about your savings account? If you're tired of watching your family's financial future disappear and are left wondering why your money manager can't seem to keep it from happening, then come learn how to take control of your own finances. Since the Bible teaches to lay aside for your grandchildren, you need a way to do just that. Attend our two-day course and learn the system that pastor and businessman David Mitchell developed based on principles found in the Bible. You can learn this system just like thousands of others have across the country. Be the person that your great-grandchildren will be talking about. New Venture on Wall Street. Build your legacy. Attend the next seminar October 24th and 5th at the Hyatt Regency North Dallas 701 East Campbell Road and at the Norris Conference Center, Fort Worth, 304 Houston Street and in Tyler, Texas, October 31st through November 1st at the Holiday Inn, 5701 South Broadway Avenue. To register, call 877-907-TRADE. That's 877-907-TRADE or go to nvows.com. That's nvows.com. Boss Academy Radio wants to give back to its listeners. For the first time in 10 years, Years. Tony Robbins is coming back to Dallas to help you unleash the power within. Are you going to give up or move forward? Are you going to blame somebody or are you going to change something? Whatever you do is going to shape your destiny. Turn fear into power and transform everything from finances to your relationships to your health. This isn't hyper motivation, but a life changing event hosted by a man who has helped transform and influence the lives of more than 8 million people worldwide. When registering to attend this powerful, life changing four day seminar, get your special Boss Academy discount. All you have to do is dial 858 535 6220 and tell them Boss Academy sent you. Unleash the power within, where the impossible becomes possible with Tony Robbins. Live, October 23rd through the 26th, the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center, 650 South Griffin Street in Dallas. Visit kvceradio.com or call today and mention Boss Academy, 858-535-6220. That's 858-535-6220. At Parker Law Firm, people matter. Hi, I'm Brad Parker. When I first got out of law school, I went to work for a big downtown Fort Worth law firm. It was a prestigious job, but I, I never felt fulfilled professionally helping banks and companies. I didn't have that fulfillment 
fulfillment that kind of drove me to be a lawyer to begin with. And the more I saw and learned, uh, the more I realized that maybe being in the big firm wasn't the right thing for me. I went out on my own to start doing some personal injury work and what we call insurance bad faith uh, because you get the opportunity to help real people. Your efforts and your success makes a difference in their lives. And that is very satisfying and very rewarding to me. And it drives me every, every morning when I wake up to be able to help people. The rewarding times after a case is settled, the cards I get from clients, just to say, thank you, you made a difference in my life. I never really got that from the CEOs of the banks that I represented. It is truly rewarding to know that you've made a difference in someone's life and you've really helped them out. Principal Office, Bedford, Texas. EFW's Business Authority, 1160 AM, KVCE. Welcome back to Bar Talk with Brad Parker. You can check it out online at kvcradio.com. Brought to you by the Parker Law Firm. Have questions? Get answers. Call in at 214-787-1160. That's 214-787-1160. What'd you say? I won't pay. Stand back. Play. It's my Welcome back. You're listening to Bar Talk, and I'm Brad Parker. Glad you stuck around and joined me. If you didn't uh, hear it a minute ago, uh, one of the things I'm doing, and I, I want uh, to give away some hockey tickets. Uh, I, like, I've been a hockey fan uh, not very long, only 15 years, 16 years, <laughs> but uh, I love it. I've been a season ticket holder, and uh, I want uh, you to enjoy the game if you've never been to one. Or if you do go, but you'd just like to sit in some, some seats that I've got, I'd love to have you come to the hockey game. And I'm going to give away two tickets along with a parking pass for this coming Tuesday night's game. We're going to be playing the Vancouver Canucks. It's going to be Tuesday, October 21st. It's at the AAC. And the way you can get these tickets is uh, Parker Law Firm is giving them away and for free. All you got to do is go on the website. Type in under the contact form your name, your phone number, and your uh, email address and put in the message part tickets or stars or something like that to let me know that that's what you're, you're doing. And we're going to have a drawing on Friday. And I will contact somebody Friday afternoon, and then I'll come back in here on Wednesday, and maybe we can get the person who ever went uh, to call in and give us a little uh, a talk or tell us about the, the hockey and their experience or if they enjoyed themselves. Uh, what not, but uh, do that. I'd love for you to, to get some free tickets to the hockey game. Parker Law Firm would love to give those away to you. Uh, <clears throat> we were talking about Ebola and, and the stuff that's going on over at uh, Presbyterian Hospital here in Dallas, and you talk about Three Stooges. Uh, I, I cannot believe, I sat here last week thinking, there is no way that you could prove under Texas law uh, the the elements necessary to hold that hospital accountable and responsible for the things that have been going on. Because you actually have to show that it's willful and wanton, that they knew of the high degree of risk they were subject, subjecting people to, yet they just basically willfully and wantonly ignored that and subjected people to this risk uh, anyway. However, what a week a difference makes. Um I am just about turned around on this now. The The conduct of the hospital over there has been absolutely deplorable, in my opinion. Uh, they ought to be, and I'm sure they are, absolutely ashamed of themselves. Uh, as I mentioned before the break, Thomas Duncan, the first Ebola patient here in the United States to die, uh, while five others have survived, he died. Uh, there's been... Uh, Questions of whether or not uh, because he was from Liberia, whether or not is because he did not have insurance, that he was not treated appropriately or he was turned away. And you would think at first blush, oh, please tell me that's not possible. That, that just couldn't happen. But now we're waiting. We're, we're learning that uh, when he came back to the hospital two days later, they kept him in. They did not immediately isolate him. They kept him for a few hours in a a uh, non-isolated area of the hospital where seven other patients were exposed to him. He was already exhibiting a uh, uh, high degree of symptoms for uh, Ebola. We are also learning now that it took him six days to start using the experimental drugs that have saved the other five people's lives. 
we are now learning that, uh, uh, of course, we know as of Sunday that the nurse, Nina Fahm, uh, has now been diagnosed with it, uh, a, a young nurse who graduated from TCU, uh, working at Presbyterian. And now we know that a, another uh, young young woman, a nurse, Amber Benson, has also been diagnosed with it. Both of these nurses were uh, had high degrees of contact uh, with Mr. Duncan. And, you know, the first thing that the CDC and the, and the hospital say when uh, Nina Fahm was diagnosed, oh, she must have breached protocol. It must be her fault that she was exposed to this because she didn't follow protocol. Now, you know, I've been doing this a long time, uh, and I immediately was appalled that they would somehow turn on her uh, and blame her for being infected. Well, now we're learning that, uh, well, maybe, maybe it wasn't her, guys. Uh, we, we, yesterday, the nurses union comes out and says that Presbyterian has constantly changing guidelines. They had no protocols in place. Uh, that the nurse supervisor who was insisting that Duncan be isolated immediately upon his arrival at Presbyterian Hospital was rebuffed by management at the hospital. That it uh, took several hours to get him isolated that once they got him isolated, they did not have the appropriate uh, protocols in place to, uh, for, for, for gear, uh, gowns and gloves they were treating him with when they should have been basically in hazmat suits. I heard a story yesterday that uh, the, even though they were wearing the hazmats or the gowns, they weren't wearing anything for their shoes. They were just wearing their normal shoes. So you have a, a, a patient who is gravely ill, has uh, vomiting and diarrhea that they call explosive. I can only imagine. I don't even want to imagine what that must be like. They're sending these young nurses with no training, no experience, ill properly uh, uh, equipped to go in and treat this guy. And then we find out that they don't even have a mechanism to destroy the gowns and equipment that's coming off, that they, they say that it has been piled up to the ceilings in that hospital. Are you kidding me? I, I this this is this is appalling. Uh, you know the the laws in the state of Texas changed back in two thousand three to protect hospitals, and of course the argument was. That if you change the laws, if you protect doctors and hospitals or any profession, if you if you, if you protect uh, 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 electricians like my hardworking father, if you do, if you don't hold them accountable, if they can't be held accountable in the court system, then what motive do they have to do right? Oh, you say. They, you know, a hospital would never do that. I played golf yesterday with with a with a guy, and we were talking about all of this. And he says, "You know, Brad, you you just think differently than I do because I I, I could never imagine that the hospital would would not have protocols or would breach protocols or or unnecessarily expose their nurses and people. I mean, they they got a moral obligation. And it was before I learned all of this that I just repeat just told you about uh, the lack of protocols." And I told him, I said, I, I call me a cynic. Yes, I am. But I've been doing this long enough. I, I suspect we're going to see. And lo and behold, not 24 hours later, we're, we're seeing all of this. And, and, and Mark, if you're listening, I, I hope that you've seen all of this and may, may got you to kind of scratch your head and rethink some things. I, I just cannot believe it. But, you know, so who's responsible here for uh, Nina Bombs and Amber's medical care. You know, if fortunately workers' compensation is in place, and uh, fortunately or unfortunately, if you've ever been through the workers' compensation system, you know how broke that is and how it is uh, a pitiful, pitiful uh, substitute for the type of medical care that you truly need when you've been injured on the job. Another another victim of tort reform. 
But so you, you've got some medical care. Will will they pay for the for the experimental drugs? You know, things have gotten so bad over at Presbyterian. They have taken Amber Vinson and have flown her uh, uh, to Emory Hospital in Atlanta to treat her. Uh, I, I think there's probably been a total and complete breakdown of confidence and trust in Presby, Presbyterian's ability to handle this. In fact, they have demonstrated. I don't know why they're not getting uh, Nina Fahm uh, out of here and get her somewhere where hopefully they can save her life because uh, I'm not confident that Presbyterian can do it. i not confident that at all. But, you know, what What about all of their belongings? Have you, have you seen uh, the hazmat guys going into her apartment? They went into Duncan's apartment, and they essentially take every piece of furniture, every piece of clothing, everything in the apartment. They load them up into those big drums, hazmat drums, and they destroy it. Who's responsible for that? I mean, but for Presbyterian's total and uh, just lack of, of, of behavior of, of protecting their employees, these young ladies probably wouldn't have been exposed to that, yet they're losing everything they own. Who pays for that? I guarantee you they don't have a civil action against their employer for that. Tort reform has made very, very sure of that. These young ladies don't have anything. They don't have a single piece of clothing left. Uh, this the, the behavior of the hospital and, and the, the things they have exposed their employees and the public to uh, is, is incomprehensible. It is absolutely, it's, it, in my opinion, criminal. And for us to not to have civil res, uh, remedies available against hospitals like this, uh, we ought to all reevaluate. If this doesn't make you wake up about tort reform, I don't know what will. Uh, your rights have been taken away, and they just keep getting taken away because you don't do anything about it. I'm Brad Parker. You're listening to Bar Talk. I'm going to be back in a minute. We're going to talk a little bit more about this and a couple other things as we wind down the show. You're listening to Bar Talk on AM 1160 KBCE. a.m. KVCE. KVCE. Dallas Fort Worth's Business Authority. Ow! Stupid bugs! If pests are pestering you this summer, give Alley Cat Pest Control a call. A top performer in the pest control industry for over 25 years, offering the most comprehensive pest control services to the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and surrounding counties. Alley Cat Pest Control is dedicated to providing a wide array of quality eradication services to apartment complexes, manufacturing facilities, food industry facilities, churches, and residential properties. Our technicians are trained specialists, providing our clients with timely, effective pest control services. From term Mite and bug detection and eradication, including removal of spiders, wasps, bees, ants, roaches, and even vermin. There's no pest too big or too small for Alley Cat Pest Control. Protect your investment and don't let termites destroy your home. Don't let bed bugs ruin a good night's sleep. Give us a call today, 817 469 4849. That's 817 469 4849. Or visit alleycatpestandtermite.com. If you knew everything about your car, it's probably safe to say that getting your car service would be simple. Well, for most car owners, that's just not the case. You have to trust the person looking at your car and hope you get the truth and understanding of problems and the right service needed. I've got just the place. Hey, Kerr Chase here, host of the Automotive Edge radio show for Driver's Edge Auto Repair. After 29 years in the industry and 10 years with Driver's Edge Auto Repair, they go by one rule of thumb, your driving habits. That allows Driver's Edge to educate you on the wear and tear and the right maintenance program for your automobile. With the top ASC certified mechanics and the best warranty in the business, three-year, 36,000-mile nationwide warranty, make it Driver's Edge Auto Repair. From luxury imports and domestic cars and trucks, it's education above the sale for your service needs. Go to MyDriversEdge.com. That's MyDriversEdge.com for a location nearest you. For a lawn worthy of the spotlight, you need a mower worthy of the same. Try Kubota's Commander Z100 Series Zero Turn Mowers. These high output gas powered machines are cutting edge and commercial grade. 
Demanding attention with brilliant LED headlights, 5-inch deep mower decks, and commercial hydro gear transmissions, Kubota puts professional results at your fingertips. Get exceptional savings on all Kubota commanders during the Gear Up and Go sales event with zero down and 0% APR financing for up to 48 months. Command the spotlight during the Gear Up and Go sales event right now at your local TexasKubotaDealers.com. Visit TexasKubotaDealers.com to find your local Kubota dealer. Zero down, 0% APR financing for terms up to 48 months on Z100 Commander models now through 1231-14. Financing is available through Kubota Credit Corporation USA, subject to credit approval. Other conditions may apply. Offer expires 1231-14. For more information, call toll-free 1-888-465-8268. At Parker Law Firm, people matter. Hi, I'm Brad Parker. When I I first got out of law school, I went to work for a big downtown Fort Worth law firm. It was a prestigious job, but I, I never felt fulfilled professionally helping banks and companies. I didn't have that fulfillment that kind of drove me to be a lawyer to begin with. And the more I saw and learned, uh, the more I realized that maybe being in the big firm wasn't the right thing for me. I went out on my own to start doing some personal injury work and what we call insurance bad faith uh, because you get the opportunity to help real people. Your efforts and your success makes a difference in their lives. And that is very satisfying and very rewarding to me. And it drives me every, every morning when I wake up to be able to help people. The rewarding times after a case is settled, the cards I get from clients, just to say, thank you, you made a difference in my life. I never really got that from the CEOs of the banks that I represented. It is truly rewarding to know that you've made a difference in someone's life and you've really helped them principal office, Bedford, Texas. From Wall Street to the Metroplex, this is 1160 AM KVCE, Dallas-Fort Worth's Business Authority. Welcome back to Believers in Business Bar Talk with Texas Board Certified Personal Injury Trial Lawyer, Brad Parker, right here on M 1160 KBCE. Have questions? Get answers. Call in at 214-787-1160. That's 214-787-1160. You can check it out online at kbceradio.com. Brought to you by the Parker Law Firm. Welcome back. Glad you could join in. I uh, want to give a little shout out to my good buddy Brad Powell and all the folks over there at Crazy Cowboy. I may come by and have a bite to eat a little bit later. Yeah, out and about in Bedford, you need to stop by to support your local uh, establishment over there, Crazy Cowboy. It's a great place, sandwiches, a couple of beers. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful deal. Brad, glad you're listening tonight. Well, we were talking about Ebola right before, but uh, before we get back into it, I want to remind you that if you want to uh, put your name in the hat for a drawing on some hockey tickets, for this Tuesday night against the Vancouver Canucks there at the AAC, got two tickets that the Parker Law Firm is going to give away uh, to, to who we're going to have a random drawing. You need to go on my website. It's parkerlawfirm.com. That's parkerlawfirm.com. Fill out the little contact form by leaving your name, your uh, email address, and your phone number, and write in the little message thing. Stars hockey tickets or stars or hockey or tickets, what, whatever. I'll know what you're talking about. And I'm going to have a drawing on Friday. And so uh, I'll give away two tickets sitting there in uh, Section 111. They're on the bowl right kind of behind the net where you can – it's great seats, great seats. And uh, parking tickets so you can you have a place to park as well. So uh, look us up online and, and do that. Well, we were talking about the Ebola deal and uh, – uh, you know, the, the ramifications, uh, maybe this all would have happened, uh, notwithstanding Presbyterians absolute dropping the ball, uh, despite L- L- Mo, Larry and Curly over there, um, uh, not having any kind of, uh, uh, protocols in place, despite they're not treating, uh, Mr. Duncan appropriately, timely or in a prudent medical fashion despite they're not even taking care of their nurses, despite they're not having protocols, equipment, despite subjecting them to all the the things that they have, maybe none of this would happen. But the uh, ramifications now are just, uh, you know, going crazy. Uh, And we can't hold them responsible. You can't hold them civilly responsible under Texas law. That's what's so mind-boggling to me. Uh, you know, uh, the the politicians have 
uh, lied to the public about uh, tort reform, the need to throw you know uh, the lawsuits out and all the frivolous lawsuits uh, out. Uh, well, folks, uh, you, <laughs> you know the, the the heart, the soul of the matter is is that uh, what what has happened is the legitimate lawsuits have been thrown out. And uh, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of time. And until the public at large uh, reacts to the inability to be able to seek civil redress for the absolute incompetence and stupidity uh, and the harm caused by that stupidity and incompetence, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, there's nothing we can do, especially in this situation. Speaking of incompetence and stupidity, uh, the preliminary report on that uh, truck wreck up in Oklahoma came out, uh, uh, kind of in a re- reconstruction, if you will. You may recall the four young ladies who were killed on a bus that was returning from a softball tournament. Uh, they were coming back, and an 18-wheeler was headed north. Uh, for whatever reason, he missed a curve, went over the median, on I-35 up in Oklahoma, careened into the southbound lanes and hit this bus and uh, killed four young, beautiful women uh, uh, in the prime of their lives. Well, the Department of Transportation came out today with their preliminary report uh, today or yesterday, and they basically all they said was 72, 74 miles an hour. That's how fast that truck was going when it left the roadway. Uh, there's already been a, a lawsuit filed uh, here in Tarrant County, Fort Worth, uh, on behalf of one of the survivors uh, of that. And then uh, hats off to them for reacting quickly and promptly. Uh, they needed to get legal counsel immediately. There's so many things that go on in these truck wreck ca- cases. And it's so important to have an attorney early. There's so much evidence. These aren't these aren't car wreck cases. These aren't big car wreck cases. These are a whole different kind of, of case. Uh, you know, we handle a ton of these things, and there's so much evidence. You've got the uh, in essence the black boxes. You've got the driver's logs. You've got uh, many things that are evidentiary that are maintained on the interior of the truck, uh, and oftentimes it is just amazing to me how many times we have a trucking accident case. And the defense uh, tries to hide the evidence through a mumbo jumbo privileges and and the way the timing uh, they they claim I got some the other day on a on a horrific truck accident uh, that they said uh, no we knew we were going to get sued the second the accident happened so everything that we gathered is considered investigative privilege and therefore we don't have to produce it to you. Uh, that's the kind of approach they take. And, and even in these cases where it's clear uh, that where the wrong was, and it's not on the bus driver, it's on those truck driver that went 74 miles an hour out of his lane and crossed over into the other lane, that's where the negligence lies, and that's where the evidence is, and that's where you've got to get to immediately. And as time goes by, uh, some of those things disappear. Some of those things don't get preserved. Uh, weird things happen. If you're ever involved in a, in a truck accident or any accident for that matter, I mean, but especially a trucking accident, or you know someone it is, you need to get them to an attorney ASAP so that that attorney can get his team of investigators, his team of, uh, of uh, experts together and rounded up to start investigating, start preserving uh, the evidence, start reconstructing the accident. Uh, how it happened, uh, to try to find the reasons. Because I assure you, these trucking companies do every single thing in their power to avoid responsibility. And uh, that's why it's so important. And and not only that, but you need an attorney like the Parker Law Firm or, or someone like us, uh, board certified in personal injury trial law, make sure that they have handled trucking accidents uh, in the past. Uh, it's not just every attorney that can, can handle these. And uh, If you or a loved one have ever been affected by that or any other kind of accident, I'd be honored to have the uh, uh, opportunity to evaluate your case, let you know what your legal rights are, and hopefully represent you if that's the the decision that you make uh, to to go on that way. Well, I'm running out of time. I I just want to remind you a couple of things. 
Uh, tune in next week. You can hear who won the hockey tickets, but you can also find out what happened in Rick, uh, or I'm sorry, Jerry Jones's trial, or not trial, but the hearing that's going to happen tomorrow. And I'm sure there'll be some more motions in Rick Perry's deal, the Cibola deal. Who knows where that's going to be going? Uh, you know, I always like talking about the, the kind of the facts behind the the headlines on legal issues, so that you can get a little bit more information about it and have a little bit more informed decision about it. But uh, in the meantime, go to my website, parkerlawfirm.com, and uh, let me know you'd like some hockey tickets. Fill in the uh, contact form. We're going to have a drawing on Friday. That's parkerlawfirm.com. And uh, I hope you'll hang around uh, for the uh, the uh, Bloomberg Report uh, hour that's coming up next. And, of course, tune in tomorrow night. We've got the Family Law Hour with Frank and Donna. That's always a lot of fun. They've, uh, they're very informative. Uh, they'll get straight to the point and give you some great advice, too. Matt, thanks for helping me today. I uh, appreciate everyone listening in. You've been listening to Bar Talk. I'm Brad Parker, AM 1160 KBCE. Thanks for joining us for Bar Talk with local trial lawyer Brad Parker, the attorney you want but hope you never need. Join us again next week when you, the listener, can become more educated about your legal rights and your Seventh Amendment right to a civil justice system. Until then, if you are in need of legal advice or services, contact local attorney Brad Parker at 817-503-9200 or on his website at parkerlawfirm.com.